Hey y'all, welcome back. All right, it seemed like a really good day to take you along on our morning chores and show you some of the projects that we've been working on, give you kind of an update on the plants that we've all started together, and um, just kind of see what we do every morning. So first thing we need to do is we need to go and feed the dogs. Hi, Sprinkles. Hey, Barney. You ready for your breakfast? Come on, let's go get some breakfast. Can I feed them, Mama? Sure. Maybe not that full bucket, but like three quarters of it. There we go. Alright, and we'll, so let's do this. We can warm up the tissue button. Let's see what that's right. You put the lid back on. Or we'll do it like this. Now everybody can have their breakfast. Good dogs. Good dogs. So, so, so that's how you feed your dog? If you have guard dogs, <laughs> you gonna let the chickens out for me? Yeah. So let's make sure our makeshift gate is secure. So we actually fixed this this weekend. Added a couple little posts and a better gate because the chickens kept getting out of chicken jail. Normally we let them free range, but we're trying to train them out of going in the garden. Yeah, because so. it's turning spring. We let them stand there the whole winter, but now that it's spring, we can't do that anymore. Right. Okay. Don't let them out. Go, go, go. Oh, that wasn't latched. It wasn't latched? No. Uh oh, who put them up last night? Um, oh no, little. So my heat ball burned out last night and it was really cold, but it looks like everybody is doing okay, which is good. They're almost fully feathered and um, that means it's almost time to move them out to their outdoor home, which will be perfect because I have laying chickens Playing babies hatching in about a week. So, let's see, does it work? Does it work? It works! Hi, little guys! So, this is a project that we did last weekend. We actually we had a wall here in the barn, in the burger room. Y'all might remember it as the turkey's temporary home during the polar vortex. So last week we disassembled the wall and we built this box for these little guys. So these guys, we actually, they came in the mail two weeks ago and they lived in the house for the first week or so until they were starting to get some feathers and then we built this box and transitioned them out here. And they have been doing so well out here. So meat chickens actually get chick starter for the first couple of weeks of their life until they're 
Chicken. Honestly, I give them Chicken Starter. Oh, and so they're fully feathered and ready to go out. And then we'll switch them to a high protein meat bird, meat bird food. Um, and these guys, they're almost fully feathered. So these guys are eating so much that I'm actually feeding them three times a day now. Morning, noon, and night. Feed them, so I'm sure these are not out there. But when they move to the meat bird food, they'll only get fed <laughs> just in the morning. Like what you been up to barn you were eating your breakfast what about you you just getting into stuff huh <laughs> so sprinkles looks a little rough because she has a food allergy and that caused a really bad skin infection like her allergies I guess she scratched her skin till it got infected so she's got some patches on her like back on the back there she looks a little rough and her tail but it's growing back we've changed her food she's a lot happier she feels so much better okay let's take a look at how the garden's doing so it was super cold last night got down to I think 28 so we covered up a lot of our plants I completely forgot about the celery and onions over here and these little strawberries just don't care they are blooming they've been blooming all winter and they are just happy same with the oregano it just doesn't care um, this celery looks okay. It looks like it made it. Same with the onions. This is the low tunnel that we set up, I don't know, probably a month ago now. It's warming up pretty quick today, and I think the high is supposed to be in the 60s. And then tonight, it's only supposed to get down to 40 something. That looks pretty good. I don't see anybody that looks wilty. Look how big these things are getting. Even this one, like this little guy right here, the chickens had almost completely eaten that up and it has put out new leaves and it's trying its hardest to come back. And because it's so sunny, I need to get these things uncovered pretty quick this morning because it's already up in the 40s. So, the sun is down. I'm warming up in here pretty good. Alright, look at that. Yeah, those guys look fine. Um, I do have a lot of, they need watered, but as far as making it through the cold, they look great. I am happy with that. So I turned a heater on for these guys last night. So let's see how they did. All right, it's feeling pretty warm in here. Kept it at 60. I'm happy with that. Hi, Ruby. Ruby likes to join me in here. Okay, these guys look great. Um, these are, these are, a lot of these bigger ones are the plants that we planted together. There's some San Marzano's. Uh, travelers, beefsteak. They're all looking really, really good. Maybe too good because it's at least another month before I can plant any of them. 
because of things like last night where it gets cold out of the blue. So these are some of those peppers. Look how good those are looking. And some of my ground cherries, I think these little guys are trying to bloom. Here's the hatch chilies. The hatch chilies took a long time to germinate and get to this point, but they are finally starting to look good. Bell peppers, I planted them a little bit late, so they're kind of behind. I do have a few tomatoes that are not super excited with me. I let them get a little dry, but um, it's moving right along. The shishito peppers, first year I've grown those, but those are looking absolutely beautiful. Um, I planted some leeks. I've never grown leeks before. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I planted them anyway, and we'll see what happens. So that's a typical morning for me. We take care of the dogs. We take care of the chickens. These In the spring, we take care of the plants. Um, Ruby likes to come along with us. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything.